progress and prosperity. The first award is being presented to the United States Department of Agriculture. Several years ago, a representative from the USDA reached out to the city after learning about the condemnation of the Mahatungo parking garage. Since that time, this federal organization has been actively engaged in the community. They have assisted in financing the Dumont Tango parking garage and have shown a sincere interest in sharing USDA programs and services with our police department, other community organizations, and municipalities in Schuylkill County. This evening, Tanya St. Clair is representing the United States Department of Agriculture to accept the 2019 <coughs> Partners in Progress and Prosperity Award. <laughs> Valley Health Network, an entity that has been the cornerstone of healthcare in Schuylkill County and Pottsville since 1920. This acute care, not-for-profit community hospital offers the very best, cutting-edge health care that is available to people of all ages and needs. Lehigh Valley Health Network, Schuylkill, is continually investing in our city to bring state-of-the-art care, employment opportunities, and healing to our community. The city values its close relationship with the hospital. Last year, the hospital donated ballistic helmets and tactical carry gear to the Apostle Bureau of Police. This evening, the hospital is represented by Ms. Mary Durrell, Vice President of Governmental Affairs and Legislative Affairs of the Lehigh Valley Health Network, and Mr. William Reckon, President of the Lehigh Valley Hospital School. Thank you, Mayor, for the presentation. Uh, we truly view our relationship with the city as a partnership. And through that partnership, we need to work together to ensure that the, our community is safe, provided good health care. And so we thank you for the presentation, and thank you for the partnership with the Lehigh Valley Health Network. Thank you. Guys. Thank you. It gives me great honor and pleasure to introduce someone that you all know, the Mayor of the City of Pottsville, the Honorable, James T. Muldown. Thank you, Bill. Thank everyone who came out tonight. I especially want to put a special thank you out to uh, my wife, who does so much behind the scenes. Judy, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Before I begin, that has the potential to revitalize our city, incite economic community development, and awaken a great sense of community pride. As we build from the success and the lessons we have learned along the way, we are rediscovering the key to this success. Working together, we can plan the future, control our destiny, and achieve great things. Our future, however, is based upon our actions we take today. At this time, I would like to highlight some of the actions that are taken within the city departments that will pave the way for a vibrant, safe, stable future. Our first department is Accounts and Finance. Councilman Mark Atkinson, City Treasurer Ellen Micah, City Controller Bill Massaris, City Clerk Lisa Carl, and their staff have continued to effectively manage the complex accounting and financial obligations of the city. These individuals view the city of Pottsville as a business, a business that must respond, be responsive, must stay within budget, must maintain and support a workforce, plan for the future, and protect the long-term investment of our shareholders. In this case, our shareholders are our taxpayers. The Department of Accounts and Finance has met and exceeded the obligations 
by managing the vital task in an, in an effective manner. Those tasks include the collections of all revenue, the payment of expenses increasing each year, but prudent planning, a focus of employment safety, innovation approach to employee health care, the acquisition of grants, and the cre creative planning of capital projects has enabled our city to invest in our community. While holding the line on taxes for the past five years, I would like to recognize the hard work of each elected official and those employees who play a role in our fiscal operations on a day-to-day -day management and each city department. I am confident the Department of Accounts and Finance will continue to manage our day-to-day -day finances in a way that poises us for long-term success. Now I'd like to talk about the Department of Streets and Public Improvements. Under the direction of Councilwoman Donnie Bob, the Department of Streets and Public Improvements continue to tackle a large task of maintaining and improving the in infrastructure of the city. Superintendent Tom Whitaker and his dedicated workers continue to attack projects big and small in practical, practical effective manner. Daily tasks including paving, plowing, and line painting of 56 miles of streets, the maintenance of an extensive stormwater system, several bridges, and a fleet of more than 20 vehicles. Councilman Botto has provided leadership in some trying times. In 2018, we were hit with 56 inches of rain in 50 days. In August alone, more than four inches of rain flooded the city in five hours. In spite of natural disasters, harsh winters, budget limitations, we have responded to these challenges in a professional and proactive manner. By gathering information from staff and our engineers, we have been able to assess problems and work towards long-term solutions. Our internet-based our internet pothole reporting system, citizens' concerns, and ongoing data compiled on road conditions continue to make a positive impact on our streets. Last year, more than 600 tons of blacktop were used to repair potholes. In addition, 2,275 tons of blacktop were used to complete major paving projects, an increase of 575 tons from the prior year. In 2018, the street department responded to 3,200 citizens' requests, which include water runoff issues, yard waste pickup, and pothole repairs. The street department also worked diligently to meet the recycling needs of our residents. In October, the city conducted our second annual electronic recycling event. In just six hours, more than 11 tons of television, computers, and electronic items were collected. The city of streets also worked in conjunction with our engineers to educate community and meet compliance requirements of the municipal separate storm sewer system permit. Safe training and rep staff training and regular inspections of city infrastructure were complete. In 2019, we will undertake several large projects. Several of those projects will be correct, will correct damage done during the historic flooding this past August. Thanks to the Federal Disaster De Declaration and the cooperation of FEMA, FEMA, and the Schuylkill County Emergency Management Agency, we will have the ability to repair Progress Avenue and several other flood damaged areas. We will also be working with the Greater Possible Area Sewer Authority in a major stormwater separation innovation. Properly planned and implemented, this project will have a positive impact in reducing the severity of flooding in the Central Business District. In 2019, the Pottsville Street Department will continue to partner with businesses, government entities, and other organizations to serve the community and improve, and improve our infrastructure. <clears throat> the Department of Parks and Public Property. Under the leadership of Joe Devine, this department continues to maintain city property and enhance the quality of life and residents of all ages. Over the years, the Pottsville Park System has developed in direct response to community needs. Our diverse park system includes trails, beautiful gardens, a variety of athletic facilities, music venues, historic sites, and a quiet, quiet places to enjoy life. The proper use and maintenance of this system requires a high level of creativity and planning. 
In 2018, our partnership with the Lasting Legacy for Pottsville hit a new high. Working with this 501c3 organization allowed the city to improve one of our signature parks. Several projects were complete at Yingling Park. The pergola, walking bridge, gazebo, and pump house were repaired and painted. In addition, lighting and heating were added to the restrooms, trees were trimmed, and a new security system was installed. In December of 2018, a dedicated group of volunteers held the first annual Christmas in Yingling Park. This park was transformed into a winter wonderland that brought thousands of people to the park to enjoy dancing, singing, Santa, live reindeer, trolley rides, and holiday chair. Another lasting legacy project was the completion of the Pat Flannery basketball court project at Jowan Park. New court service, benches, lighting, and fencing upgrades have been complete. Other large-scale projects in the Parks Department include major repairs to the concrete floor at JFK Pool and an assessment of handicap accessibility in our city parks. In 2018, our parks continue to see an increased use. Yingling Bicentennial Park and Gardens were the site of 20 community events, including wedding ceremonies, photo shoots, <coughs> concerts, and three special events. Our regionally required trolley has become a common sight in the community. The volunteer efforts of the Pots and Recreation Commission continue to offer residents a wide variety of social and recreational opportunities. Three monthly movies at the Majestic Theater entertain over 1,300 people. The long-standing tradition of the mayor's tree lighting was particularly meaningful with the lighting of the largest tree in the history of the city. The annual Christmas party offered holiday enjoyment to 300 children. Other activities included the annual Easter egg hunt, New Year's Eve celebration, 4th of July fireworks, 3rd Brigade Band Concert at Jowan and Yingling Park, and Holiday Home and Business Decorating Contest. The 3rd Annual Fitness Challenge was another great example of community <coughs> partnership and success. 19 businesses sponsored donated $2,350 to the Fitness Challenge, allowing 309 area residents the chance to participate in a variety of activities including running, yoga, swimming, boot camp, interval training, aqua aerobics, and a Fitbit challenge, and a variety of motivational events to encourage health and fitness. Cackle, Fred, Cackle Federal Credit Union also stepped up to the plate to sponsor the return of the Memorial Day Mile. 127 people participated in this Oxford tradition which was a record number for that race. This summer, the city will hold Music in the Ville 2019. This event will include summer concerts in the Ville June through August, free admission Sunday evenings, concert with live performances from a variety of local bands. Summer kickoff concert June 15th, featuring country, current, and classic rock. Third Brigade Band concert at Chowan Park Amphitheater, and Neeling Park. Jazz, Wine and Spirits, an August event featuring jazz music. The city is currently seeking sponsorship for the concert series. I just had to throw that in there. <laughs> Other notable events in 2019 will include the continuation of the successful Hometown Hero Banner Program and the hosting of the largest event ever held in the city of Pottsville the Yingling 190th Anniversary Celebration. The Department of Parks and Public Property will continue to advance the quality of life in Pottsville, maintain our recreational <coughs> facilities, and ensure that City Hall and other city properties remain an asset to our community. I am confident that Councilman Devine will continue to lead this city to new opportunities for growth and success. Department of Public Safety. Under the direction of Councilman Ed Jones, the Department of Public Safety continues to protect life, property, and the city. Chief Jim Estition has done a fine job leading and advocating the best volunteer fire company in the state of Pennsylvania. The brave men and women volunteer are the backbone and muscle of the fire department. These individuals sacrifice time for their families 
and put their lives on the line to protect life and property in our city. The seven volunteer fire companies responded to 1,005 alarms, a dramatic increase from 505 from the previous year. Fire loss in 2018 was $1,353,787, an increase of $165,787 from the previous year. The fire chief and his dedicated assistant chiefs answered 185 fire-related complaints from city residents. The most vital statistic is next. No lives were lost to fire in 2018. Other notable events and activities in 2018 included 18 fires were investigated with Boston Police Department and the State Police Fire Marshal. A public safety night out was held for local residents at the middle, at the middle school lot with numerous safety agencies. The first annual Pottsburg Bravest Volunteer Family Night Out held at the JFK Pool to give our volunteers and their families a thank you for the dedication, sacrifice, and volunteerism for the city of Pottsville. Pottsville Fire Department also partnered, partnered with American Red Cross for the Sound the Alarm Save a Life program. To date, 1,059 smoke detectors have been installed in the city of Pottsville. I would like to personally commend our volunteers from Red Cross and the seven city volunteer fire companies for this life-saving activity. The Pottsville Fire Department also partnered with Boscoff's Department Store for the Friends Helping Friends program to raise money to support the seven companies in the city. Public education and awareness were a priority for our fire department. 1,200 students participated in the fire prevention program at all city elementary and preschool, all city elementary and preschools. In addition, fire prevention and fire safety programs were provided to numerous city groups and organizations. Fire drills were also conducted at all city schools, both hospitals, nursing homes, Providence Place, Perceptions Training Center, Red Coat Crisis Intervention, and Avenues. I am confident that our fire department will continue to protect our community at the highest level. We remain committed to supporting the dedicated men and women who sacrifice so much to keep us safe. The Department of Public Affairs. The Pottsville Police Department continues to protect and serve all members of this community. Each city resident and visitors can be proud of the professionalism and dedication offered to our city by the 24 men and women who make up our police. The department handled over 12,500 documented incidents in 2018 in addition to the daily follow-up investigations, traffic, traffic safety enforcement, citizens' contacts, phone conversations, special events, public service matters, and never, that never created a police tracking report that would require substantial resources from our force. For the fifth consecutive year, the Potsdam Police overall clearance rate for 2018 uniform crime report matters continue to exceed 80 percent, which is significantly higher than the Pennsylvania law enforcement statewide clearance rate of 49 percent during the same time frame. 2018, our officers, our officers participated in 1,000 hours of training to improve all aspects of police work, and we were, and we were able to do that despite the high demand of police services. This was accomplished through efficient scheduling practices and significant officer cooperation. Included in these trainings were instructions and certifications commonly referred to as train the trainers. That allowed the police to conduct future department-wide training in-house and reduce travel time and costs. In April 2018, our officers completed department-wide active shooter training conducted by the FBI to help prepare for more for a moment we all hope and pray never occurs. Our officers are dedicated to working very closely in many different ways with the schools in our city to provide safe possible environment for all students. We conduct daily visits, complete safety evaluations, 
and assist in school safety training and maintain direct communications with the school's administration to keep our children safe. Through aggressive grant, the police department received more than $125,000 in funding to defray the cost for needed items including vehicle purchase, our body worn camera program, salary, training, bulletproof vest, and traffic safety enforcement program. We continue to work with many agencies and organizations trying to combat the current opiate epidemic. During the last year, our patrol officers participated in 30 successful opiate overdose reversals in the same field utilizing our Loxon Narcan program, and we are actively working with District Attorney Michael O'Pake and the Schuylkill County Drug Task Force to investigate and prosecute drug-related crimes. As the city continues to move forward with our downtown revitalization, our police department has increased visible patrols in our central business district. We are also working with the Potsdam Business Association and PADCO to facilitate many special events that require significant police resources. In many neighborhoods, we are utilizing special officer assignments, both uniform as well as plain clothes, to address specific issues and of concern. Anyone that would like to speak to an on-duty officer at any time of the day or night should know the non-emergency number of 570-628-3792. That will connect you with a police officer ready to help you in any way you can. The City of Pottsville overall number of uniform crime report offers of offenses dropped 8.5% in 2018. And make no mistake about it, our goal is to continue reduction. During National Night Out 2018, officers participated, participated in specialized citizens contact patrols, going door to door visiting neighbors interacting with residents. <clears throat> Officers also visited local businesses throughout our city to hear owners and employees' thoughts and concerns. Throughout the year, members of our police force participated in other public services events, such as preschool visits, coffee with a cop session, public speaking engagements, and safe trick-or-treat night. In 2019, we will continue to expand these practices by using a newly formed community engagement team. We also plan to utilize a bike patrol for special events and assignments that will allow citizens more personal interaction with the men and women of our force. Each year, our police force continues to find ways to improve and, su and succeed despite so many factors that hinder police departments all over the country. I am confident that our possible police will continue to provide the highest level of protection and service possible to ensure the city of Pottsville is a safe and thriving community. The Code Enforcement and Health Department continue to work diligently to protect property values while improving health, safety, and the quality of life for all people living or working in our city. By nurturing a proactive relationship in the community, the Code and Health Office has, has made a positive impact. David Travis, traffic, Justin Tresker and Frank Spleen undertake a complex task of administrating the building and city codes in a fair and practical manner. Other duties include oversight of zoning, shade tree commission, the historical and architectural review board, the issuances of building permits, public education, and responding to citizens' complaints. This multitasking group is also at the forefront of our battle against community blight. In 2018, this department coordinated a variety of efforts to fight blight throughout Plaza. Our creative and proactive approach to code enforcement and, and investment is paying off. New regulations require that owners be current on taxes and municipal fees. This has brought in more than $190,000 to the city school district and county. The code office has decreased safety hazards while increasing and stabilizing property values in our community. <clears throat> this department responded to 1,300 property maintenance complaints and concerns, performed 295 building inspections, 
issued 370 building permits, 42 zoning permits, 40 occupancy permits, 300 rental inspections, 23 de and 23 demolitions. In 2019, we will continue to work with the public and create partnerships that can incite development in the city. In conclusion, it is clear to me that our tradition and hard work has positioned us to achieve great success. 2019 promises to be a good year. We are moving our city towards a bright future. How will this be accomplished? We must hold, we must hold each other accountable to take action that creates positive change. We must hold people responsible who stand in our way. We must remove barriers to succeed in any way we can. We must control our destiny by following through the path of revitalization and redevelopment that we have begun. We must ensure that our city continues to be the place where individuals and families can thrive, children can learn, people can heal, and businesses can grow. I ask for your support and help. Our joint effort will be the key to our future. As a famous Irish poet by the name of William Butler Yeats once said, do not wait to strike till the iron is hot, but make it hot by striking. Thank you for joining me this evening. May God bless America. May God bless the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. And may God bless the great city of Potsdam. Thank you.